It is me, Katie. Welcome to my corner of the internet. Um, I'm I'm speaking kind of I'm speaking kind of quiet because people are home. <laughs> um, yeah, people are home. So if I'm talking low, I'm sorry. Um, I want to say right off the bat. I know this video is long. I have a lot to talk about anyway, so it's fine. Um, I want to get first things first right off the bat. Every house that is on this channel that I have built is now up for download. I know. I know. I'm very excited. Um, I I kind of him and hawed about how I wanted to do it. Did I want to try to make like a, a page for my YouTube channel? And I was like, no, because I am a broke bitch and that's money. Um, <laughs> so I was like, no, not yet. It may be like at some point if like I start making income from doing YouTube again, um, then I will, you know, think about that. But right now I was like, no, I don't want anything that costs money. Um, so, uh, media fire is a place where you can just upload files and, um, it can be free. You can like purchase like a membership -y kind of thing, but I got the free one. So there is going to be ads on the page when you guys click to download it, but the houses are up for download. I'll link it down below. Every house that I've built is on there. It just says like the name of the file is the name of the house. It's simple. It's just a whole file that's just like Sims 3 houses and it's there. Okay. Um, but yeah, I him and hot about how I wanted to do it. Did I want to make like a website? Did I want to try to make like a Pinterest kind of thing um, with photos. So even if you don't watch my YouTube channel, you can still download these houses and find them and everything. Because Media Fire is not like that. I like it doesn't. It's not like an actual like social media. You know what I mean? To like showcase houses. Um, so the only way that you're gonna know that my houses exist and that they're downloadable is by like finding my YouTube channel. Um, that's what's so great about like the sims resource but for some reason my houses just don't meet their guidelines anyways we all know the spiel but um yeah they're all up for download so if you want to go download them go ahead please by all means um the link is down below it just takes you to a link to the file uh the media file of every house and just click on the houses that you guys want it'll download and then you just put them in your game simple easy Hazy, lemon, a squeezy. So, anyways, what's up with you guys? <laughs> um, this is a long video. I am so sorry. This house took me a lot of time to build for some reason. Um, also, another thing I want to talk about is the exterior of this house. <sighs> I know that it looks yellow. I know. Okay, stay with me. I know. <laughs> And it's not the most flattering yellow, okay? Like, it looks cute, but um, if you were to put this house in your game, which I hope you do because it's a beautiful home, it's not the same color because I have a lighting mod in my game. I mean, unless you have the same lighting mod, then the house is going to look the same as you see it. But um, it's actually like a beige, no, not a beige, I lied, like a gray. But the way that the sun is hitting it in the game it is showing up as yellow as you can see um i couldn't color correct it it wasn't working properly when i tried to on like the um the uh the editing software i use for thumbnails um but it, it, it's like a gray i don't know why it's showing up as yellow clearly it is yellow um and it's just not the cutest but every i even try to put it in a different world because right now we're in spring hot springs summer springs what the fuck is this world called i don't even remember um but yeah we're in a i try to place it in different worlds to get the color right and it just wasn't working i don't i don't know but i didn't want to take out my lighting mod because i'm lazy <laughs> um yeah that, that's that's actually a good way to see the color did you see how it was like a gray anyways whatever who cares um it's a beautiful home it, it gives me Hampton vibes, which is the name of this house. Um, Hampton Residence. Welcome. <laughs> um, super cute home. I just really like it. It's big. It's large. It's very... My family has lots of money and we golf on Sundays vibes. And I'm here for it. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, super, super, super cute. Um, anyways, who cares about the house? Let's talk about everything but this house because that's what I do on this channel. What's new with you guys? Um, aside from the obvious of now being able to download these houses, I need to fix my microphone. I'm sorry. Um, what else is new? What else is going on? Um, I finished the Dreamland Billionaire series. If you guys don't know, hi, my name is Katie and I love books. I like books. I like reading a lot. Um, and I read a lot. I read a lot of series. I love series. And I just finished the Billionaire, Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. And that shit was my favorite fucking book series. Ooh. Um, next to, um, what was the other series called? Um, Off Campus by, uh, what's her name? L. Kennedy. I had to turn around and look at my bookshelf. Um, yeah, I post more on Instagram, which yes, I do have an Instagram for this YouTube channel. Please go follow. Um, I upload more about the, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm talking with my hands. Um, I upload more about the books that I'm reading than like the houses I build, which sounds stupid because the whole point of the Instagram is for this YouTube channel, but this YouTube channel has nothing to do with books. I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah, I like books. <laughs> and um I read a lot uh and I post what I'm reading on my Instagram all the time so if you're a reader come join me <laughs> or if you have any recommendations tell me down below um yeah I just finished the series I'm now reading just like a standalone fantasy book called Legends and Lattes it's my first fantasy book I'm a little nervous but I'm excited it seems like a really cute read really comfort vibes going on um yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I feel like I'm talking really loud, and I feel like my whole family's just listening to me, but I need to get over that fear. It's okay if they hear me talking to myself. Um, I just need to get over it. Anyways, here we are in the back of the house. Um, it's nice. One thing I did have a really, really hard time with in this house was the curtains, which sounds so stupid. F I fucking, I get it. But I couldn't get the curtains right in this house for some reason, and it annoyed the fucking hell out of me. Um, yeah, all the curtains didn't look good, so I needed to download custom content curtains, which sounds so stupid to say out loud, <laughs> but I do. Um, another thing is that the stairs in this house are a little, like, they're, I love the way that they look, but as you can tell, they're not centered with the squares. It looks a little funky. I was willing to accept it because I love the way they look. So I didn't really care. Um, yeah, they look, I think they look fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, here we are kind of, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. What am I doing? This house is large too. Like this is a big ass house. Um, I think I'm just changing the color of the stairs and stuff. Also at one point I changed the whole coloring of the floor. What it was is that we'll see in here in a, in a little bit when I start actually furnishing. But what I did was when I was uh, coloring the countertops or the counter, the cupboards in the kitchen, the wood type, like the texture and the color of the wood, I was like, wow, I really like that. And so I dragged the color and the wood type to the flooring and it looked really, really good. So the floors do not stay this color. I hope you're okay with that. The wood floors, um, they changed to a nicer wood grain in color, more modern, but still looks good in the house. I don't know. I thought it looked really good. Another thing is, is that I know the walling looks a little funky in this house. I'm going to change it. Don't worry. Um, I'm well aware that it looks weird. <laughs> I had a really long day. I, I had first aid training uh, which literally took uh, eight and a half hours in class, hands-on first aid training. So I'm just a little out of it. I'm sorry. Um, here we are doing up. I'm just putting lights in right now because I, I, I like to furnish in the dark because it sounds so stupid. The lighting mod I have in the game distorts the color like I said with the outside of the house as you can tell it's like a gray but in the daylight it looks yellow as hell um yeah it just distorts all the colors uh and I hate it I fucking hate it but um 
and and the lighting mod allows the blue of the waters in the game look phenomenal and really really realistic and the sky the sky is so beautiful with this lighting mod and i don't want to take it out of my game because of it so i just kind of deal with like the off coloring of everything f just for the fact that the sky looks really really pretty <laughs> And it does cast beautiful shadows and it just makes everything look so beautiful. So I don't want to get rid of it, but it definitely does distort a lot of the coloring in the game, um, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's something that I deal with. So whatever. I do it to myself. Here I am doing up the living room. I really, really like the living room. Um, behind the living room is where like the main entryway, the, the foyer of the house, if you will. It's very empty, as you can see it right now. Um... I try my best when I'm building to make it very home-like, fill it in with some crap. But I had a really... I just put a rug and called it a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of wide open spaces, but what the hell do you do with that space? It seems like wasted space because it kind of is. Um, but whatever. Here we are in the dining room. Yes, I changed the table. Don't worry. That's... I don't know what the hell I was thinking. That was really ugly. <laughs> I do change it and then we move on to the kitchen um which I of course change the color of the flooring I feel like I'm being really boring I'm so sorry <laughs> um anyways what's up with you guys um what is up with me not a whole lot like I said I uploaded all the houses on Mediafire for you guys to finally freaking download Jesus Christ that took me like a year um that's an exaggeration. What, like seven months? I don't know. <laughs> um, I've read some books. I finished a series. Pat on the back for me. Um, I watch a lot of BookTube. Oh my, that's that's a conversation we can get into. BookTube. Um, do you guys? Does anybody here <laughs> watching this video watch BookTube? Question. Um, I do. I am obsessed with Larry Reads. Okay, she is my queen. And I've always went... Because I've watched BookTube now for like the past couple of years. I always go back to Zoe Reads, who doesn't make videos anymore. But I still fucking love her 24-hour readathons. Even though her, my favorite one that she ever did was her reading the book It by Stephen King. And she actually deleted that reading vlog i've always wanted to know why but i've never found an answer so anyways um yeah i used to watch her or i still do and i always i i go back to um uh books books in lala or uh she's a canadian booktuber what's her name um books and books and lala uh she's a canadian booktuber and she uploads these crazy videos that are sometimes super long they're like a movie and i just love them like i eat them up like i constantly watch her videos which is super weird because like my reading preferences are closer to somebody who's like you know like larry reads like larissa or something where i do like romance i like you know some crazy shit i don't know like i'm i'm into that kind of stuff but like she reads very much adult thrillers, horror books, and like just books that aren't like romance novels, I guess. And so I don't really read a lot of like that type of book, but I love her channel. Like I'm obsessed with her channel. Um, yeah. And I just really like her videos and her attitude and her family's really cute. And I just, I don't know, like I watch her all the time. Like my whole life is just watching, watching Lala. Um, anyways, <laughs> fuck here we are in the kitchen the kitchen looks a little sad i promise we do change it look at the flooring that looks so much better i freaking love the look of it anyways what was i talking the kitchen the kitchen i know looks a little bland it doesn't look like it looks really really good actually i really like this kitchen um it's very open but very clean and i love it i really like this kitchen a lot um i think it's just the openness i really like I like an open kitchen. I find even in like new, like fancy houses, the kitchens always tend to be like kind of tucked away in a corner. And I just don't agree. <laughs> like I, I don't know. 
I don't I don't know if it's just kind of where I am and that's like a culture thing. Um, I'm, you know, I'm in Canada, Nova Scotia specifically, but like a lot of newer homes, they just have the kitchen like and I guess this is no better. It's literally tucked in the back, but it's very open. It looks like the kind of place that you can hang out with your family while they're sitting in the dining room. And I don't know, but sometimes they just look really small in real life and they just look kind of sad. And I never really got the point of that because it's like a kitchen. Like, you do so much in your kitchen. Why is it tucked away in the corner? Um, anyways, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> um, here I am putting some knickknacks in. I just wanted it to look somewhat lived in because it was looking a little sad. <laughs> um, I think I put a rug in front of the uh, the sink. Yep, there we are. <laughs> and I think we move on to a bedroom, the master bedroom, the bathroom. And outside of this house, the outside of this house was kind of throwing me off because I had to remember that the house is not yellow. It's gray. So doing the flowers and shrubbery outside, I had to remember that the house is neutral and I can do any color I want. But because in the game and in the thumbnail and this and that, it looked yellow. And so I was choosing colors based on the way, obviously, that the house looked. And so I just, I don't know, I was being like really picky with it for some reason. And it was really bothering me. Um, maybe I should try to find like a new lighting mod that doesn't cause that. I don't know. Because there's not really many lighting mods for The Sims 3. Like it just seems like, I don't know, an odd thing. Um I have to do like more research on it, I guess. I don't know if you guys use any kind of lighting mod, let me know because I guess I'm in the, the, you know, I'm trying to look for a new one. Um, but I really like this one because it makes the sky look really nice. And I find in thumbnails, it, you know, thumbnail means everything. If my thumbnail does not look good, you're not going to click on the video. That's as simple as that. So the thumbnail if the sky looks beautiful and it's adding this beautiful color to the house which sometimes it does and like the trees in the back and everything it has to look appealing the curbside is everything um so in the thumbnail if the sky is really pretty and it's cascading on the house and the trees all around it it's really gonna grab your guys's attention that's just how that works so um I like to have the lighting mod in because it makes the thumbnails look so beautiful. But uh, in the game and coloration and saturation, it fucks everything up. So it is kind of tricky. It's a tricky, slippery slope. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I think what else do you do? You just suck it up and, and do it, right? Like who cares? Whatever. Anyways, does anybody even care about this? Probably not. Um... <laughs> I thought about building not using any kind of custom content and like base game or something that could be kind of fun I think that could you know like a challenge um I should do up some challenges that could be a lot of fun actually I should I should look into that <laughs> like building challenges anyways <laughs> what am I going on about I need help <laughs> we're doing the outside now thank the lord um yeah uh I think I placed down a bunch of flooring and I lay out the land quite literally. You're going to see me delete all that and start laying out. Yep, there we go. Um, yeah, I use a lot of like walkways around this house. And that's because there's a lot of stairs. Look at the stairs. Like, what the fuck? There's like five different sets of stairs off this house, literally. Um, but it's really nice. I didn't do much of a backyard from what I remember. I don't do backyards often just because... Um, I, I, even when I personally play the Sims, I don't use a backyard. Like that's not something I do. So I just never think of it to be honest. So I'm sorry if you guys do, but I don't know. It's just not my thing. Um, anyways, here we are doing the outside, trying to make it look whimsical and pretty. Um, yeah, I love the way this is right on the lake. Ugh, it's so beautiful. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to do up the outside really quick. And I think that's pretty much it for the speed build, which is wild. So um, I'm going to start wrapping this up. Uh, like I said, all the houses are up for download. Okay. It's a free for all. Do what you want with all these houses. Download them all. Download none of them. I don't give a shit. They're up there if you guys want them. So all you have to do is click the link down below and download the houses. It's, it's very simple. Um, if you guys have any troubles, let me know. And, um, uh, 
yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed my twenty thousand year old spiel i hope this wasn't too boring <laughs> and i will talk to you all in the very next video <laughs> bye guys <laughs>